Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. All right, we're going to look at what you may be struggling with. Ooh, tower moment, definitely. What you need to look at. Energy is coming in. Oh, I love that. Look at that. The tower results in Ace of Swords and Ace of Pentacles. So that's pretty cool. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands. Struggling with a tower moment. Struggling with, it could be a recent breakup. All right, what is clarification on this tower? Five of Wands, the High Priestess, and the King of Wands. Ace of Swords, Three of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, the Star, love that, the World, love that, Nine of Swords. We always got to throw something in for Capricorn, right? We always got to throw something in, like everything seems to be good and there always seems to be a worry or there always seems to be something that's, that's a struggle. Um, I'm a Capricorn Sun and a Capricorn uh, rising, so I definitely understand that. Bottom of the deck, the lovers. All right. I think you can see that. I'm trying to do it so it's not the glare. And there we go. All right. So what you're struggling with is <clears throat> I feel like it's you're having trouble listening to your intuition and learning from things from the past. I feel like you keep repeating patterns, repeating things. Um, I feel like you keep going back to them. I feel like you keep struggling and I feel like you're not fully able to move forward with something. Um, I feel like it's almost like a karmic lesson where I feel like things keep repeating themselves for you to learn and for you to move on from there. But I feel like you, you keep going back to the same situation or the same thought process or the same person or relationship or situation but I feel like you're not able to break free from it. I feel like that's why you have this Ten of Wands is because you're exhausted. Like you've piled all this stuff up onto your back because you keep repeating this, this process. You keep going through the same cycle. What you need to look at is the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Swords is, is your thought process and analyzing things. Truly looking at what makes you happy, right? What is it that makes you happy? For some reason, I'm seeing this, this um, lightning bolt here that is coming out, that is striking the, the ship. I almost feel like, do you sabotage your own progress? Do you sabotage yourself when things start to go good, when things start to... Um, sometimes we don't even realize that we do that. I've definitely done that many, many times, even with this channel. Like, I'll get into a groove and I'll start doing readings and I'll have a certain way that I do the readings or I'll have a certain set of cards that I like to use but then all of a sudden there's like this part of me that wants to use different cards and there's one I want to use different ways of reading the cards and then that confuses me and it overwhelms me sometimes and it, it it's almost like well why am I trying to do that to myself right or if if things are going good on my channel it's like all of a sudden I feel like I don't want to do it and I don't want to you know, I don't want to work on it, but then it's like, I have to, I've really been having to look at that and say, why do I keep doing that? Why is it when things are going smoothly, when things are starting to progress, why is it that I 
I'm trying to sabotage that and find ways to distract myself from that progress. And I feel like that's the same thing here. Is that you're finding ways to distract yourself from progress. That's what I was feeling over here is that when we have this future energies where we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the star and we have the guidance and we have direction and we, you know what you want to do and you're feeling good and you're feeling happy and then all of a sudden we have this Nine of Swords, right? It's like, well, why are you worrying about things? It's like embrace the energy, the positivity, the things that are happening for you. Sometimes when we're so used to things going wrong or things falling apart or things being in... A negative way that we're used to that and when we start to have things that start to progress and start to work for us that we start to feel happy that it's almost like it's out of our comfort zone and I feel like that's what this worry is here is that you start to worry about things like oh this is really good and I know what I want to do and I know where I want to go and things are happening for me and maybe your finances are or falling into place, right? You're starting to pay off bills or something, or your career is going good, and then you're like, oh my gosh, right? How do I handle that? Because I'm not used to these things happening for me. I'm not used to these good things coming in, so I need to worry about it. But I feel like this is what you need to look at is this Nine of Swords is, why are you stressing? Why are you worrying, right? Why are you putting yourself in that energy? Just like I said for me is that I've had to really look at myself and why do I do that? Why am I sabotaging myself and I need to stop that? That if I feel myself being drawn into the direction of, okay, I want to mess this good thing up, that I need to stop myself and I need to continue on the path that I was going and not divert myself. I feel like the lovers here, this could represent a relationship that maybe things start to go really good. You know, sometimes people are like that. Sometimes, like, if things are calm and things are good, but if they're used to drama, then they'll do things to stir up drama because that's what they're used to being in, is that drama and that craziness. And I feel like this has something to do with you, too, is that, you know, maybe that's a, there's a negative energy, right, that, you, that you're used to. And if when you move away from it, that you want to go back to it. I feel like this has to do with yourself. When I saw the lovers, I feel like it has to do with you. Um, but I, it also could be with a relationship that you have around you that maybe you have a breakup, right? You have a breakup with someone that was causing a lot of drama or wasn't making you happy or you knew that it wasn't the right person for you but then this person draws you back in and you keep going back to that person we've all had those relationships and you keep going back to that person and you hope that it changed but you realize hey you know it doesn't change that person doesn't change they may change for a little bit but they go back to their old ways and you get sucked back in and then you have a breakup or you try and disconnect but then it's like this vicious cycle that's what I feel like there's a vicious cycle going on here but I feel that you need to be strong to be able to break free from that. But you have to see the cycle that you're doing here. You have to see, you have to look at this cycle that's going on that you're, that you're doing. That's preventing you from totally breaking away, right? With this Ace of Swords and this Ace of Pentacles. With this Star card and the World card. Like feeling, feeling like you're free. I almost feel like when I'm looking at her, I feel like she feels like she's free freeing yourself from this cycle all right so let's get come to the edge and take a chance right sometimes that's what we have to do is we have to go to the edge and we have to take that leap of faith and say okay this time around I'm going to stick to my word and I'm you know I'm not going to either draw myself back into sabotaging something that's working good for me or a direction that I'm trying to go in and talk myself out of something or I'm not going to be pulled back into a relationship that I feel that I have this breakup, I have this chance to break free, and I don't want to go back. So I need to do those things that I need to do so that I don't get pulled back in. Which is, is it blocking that person or not talking to that person or distancing yourself from that person? Sometimes we have to make those hard choices, but we have to 
consider ourselves. We have to look at ourselves and say, well, if I don't do anything this time, then I'm just going to go back into the same cycle. How many times do I have to do this in order to break free? Definitely, there is an attachment. That's exactly what I was talking about this whole reading, is that you have an attachment to something that you have to take the mask off and see it for what it is and to release yourself, right? To release yourself from the cycle that you keep repeating. And I felt like there was one more. Appreciation. That one's very pretty. I like that one. Appreciation. Appreciation for those those things that you have going for you, or those things that you have working towards you, those messages that you're receiving or that guidance or that direction or that inner voice that you've been ignoring and to appreciate all of those signs and appreciate the good things that you have and to use that energy to push you forward and away from the, ne from the negativity, but to work towards the star and the world card. All right, so let's grab a star dragon. Sometimes we just really have to take a hard look at the things that we're doing. I mean, just like I said with myself, you have to um, take a hard look and say, okay, if I keep being in this energy, what is it that's going on? What do I have to look at? What are the actions that I'm doing? So we have tranquility, harmonious in action taking that time right that's what I was saying is we have to take a hard look at ourselves and see what are those things that we're doing to ourselves we can't blame it on this this energy over here right that is toxic or is dramatic or you know we can't blame it on that we have to say well if you keep putting yourself in that situation then you are the one that's in control and you're putting yourself in that situation and take ownership of that Beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. That's incredibly important, right? You have to lay a solid foundation. And that's <clears throat> with the tower. The tower represents that something is built on a false foundation. And so it all starts to come down. But you have this chance to rebuild, right? When something comes down, something falls apart, something comes undone, that you have a chance to rebuild it. So when you rebuild it lay a solid foundation something that you can trust and you can rely on that you see okay this is what i'm going to accept this is what i'm not going to accept and if any of this energy of what i don't want to accept comes in then i'm going to push that away that i'm going to see that because i want to lay a solid foundation with what i do want to have what i do upset accept what i do deserve Sometimes it's just making those choices and sometimes it takes us a few times to go through those patterns to finally realize it but I feel like this time around it clicks, right? It makes sense. It all makes sense to you. It all, like, it makes sense and you see it. That you're like, stop, wait a minute. I see the patterns. I see what I'm doing. I see what I'm going on. I see that I have a mask on. I see that I have this attachment to something. I see that I have to embrace this tower moment and take those chances and rebuild and lay a solid foundation. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.